In this video, we're going to show you how to use the MyStudio API to automatically generate blog posts for your WordPress website. As an example, we have a dog shelter website here. It's actually run by one of our colleagues, and this is totally real. You can go ahead and adopt one of these dogs. They will also ship them to you. This is a two people operation, and of course, they don't have time to go ahead and write lots of blog content that can help them rank better on Google. To solve this, we created an AI that takes in a blog content topic writes a whole blog article, including structuring it in title, slug, main content, and even the cover image, and then automatically publishes this content on the WordPress website in draft mode. This way, a human can still review the article, and if everything is fine, they can publish it. Let's take a look at the MindStudio AI that makes it possible. It's called Blog Post Generator, and it's separated into two flows, one that generates the blog post, and one that generates the image. The blog post generator has a start block that takes in the launch variable topic. This means the flow needs the variable topic in order to work. We are sending topic from the tally form here. Then we are generating the title. The prompt is very simple. Based on the topic, topic, assistant generates a compelling energetic title. Only output the title and nothing else. We are saving this to the variable title so that we can reference it later. Then we are generating the slug. Very similar to the previous prompt, based on the topic, come up with a slug, only output the slug and nothing else. Both of these blocks are using Gemini 1.5 Flash, and then we generate the outline. Based on the topic topic, the title title create a detailed outline. The outline is saved to the variable outline, and finally, we use all of this to generate the main content piece. The content piece uses Claude 3.5 IQ because that's typically a better writer than Gemini and we're passing in the topic, the title, the outline, and then we're asking to generate the whole piece of content, never include the title, and structure the paragraphs in a specific way, include white space for readability, bold important keywords, other rules that we came up with in order for this to be an actually publishable article. Finally, we end this flow by structuring a JSON output. By using the end block, you can decide what's the output of this flow. We need the slug, the title, and the content, all mapped to the corresponding prompts up here. This is the title, this is the slug, this is the content. We don't need the outline, so the outline is simply used in the final prompt, but not included in the JSON output. Then the image generator flow takes in the block content coming from the first step, generates an image using ideogram V2. We want the image to have an aspect ratio of 16, 9, and to have the magic prompt. Then we display the content, which is the image URL, and we'll use this to download the image from the URL and upload it as a media item in WordPress. Let's take a look at the make scenario. Let's click on edit. And here you can see the first input here is watch new responses from the tally form. So whenever this form is submitted with the topic, we are starting this flow. Then we are running a MindStudio app. This app is the blog post generator in the flow blog post generator. This is going to generate the title, the slug, and the content and output it in JSON. Let's go back to make. We are then parsing that JSON to get all of the variables we need. We are running an Android Studio app, which is in reality the same app, but with a different flow name. So this is the image generator. Then we are getting the file from the output of the email generator because it's going to generate a URL. We need to first download that file and then upload it in WordPress to create a new media item. So this is basically going to give us the actual base64 or the binary to create that media item in WordPress. Then we are creating the media item in WordPress. We are naming it with the slug plus cover. And we are saying that the file should be coming from the get file the step before. Finally, we are creating a blog post in WordPress. This is what the configuration looks like. We are passing in the title coming from the JSON we passed before, the content, same thing. We have the post here. We have the excerpt, the date, the slug, and we are publishing it as a draft so that a human can go ahead, review it, and publish it only if it makes sense. The feature media is media item ID, and nothing else is configured down there. There is one last thing we need to do here, and it's to turn the markdown content that will come from here into HTML. To do that, at some point, we need to convert the markdown coming from this parse into HTML. You can do it very easily in make.com using the markdown module. So what we can do is add another module here after the parse JSON. 
Let's click on add a module and we're going to add markdown, markdown to HTML. What we want to use here is the content coming from the step before. So the content coming from parse JSON. Let's click out and we don't need to sanitize it. Let's click on OK. And that's all we need to do. Then in the final step here, in the create a blog post, we need to exchange the previous parse JSON block here with the right one, which is the markdown converted into HTML, which is right here. OK. Since we changed this flow, let's test it out. Let's click on Run Once, and this is going to wait for a new response from Tally. Let's go to Tally and write something like First Owner's Guide to Owning a Dog, something like that. OK. Let's click on Submit. Thanks for completing this form. And if we go back to make, we can see that this flow started. Now let's wait for the completion. And it's done. What happened here is that we got the response from Tally coming with all of the fields, which is just one in this case, and this is the topic. Then we passed the topic to Main Studio, executed the flow, we transformed the JSON, passed the JSON, and turned the markdown from the content into HTML. As you can see, this input is in Markdown. This is the blog post content generated by Cloud 3.5 IQ. And what we did is convert it into HTML. This way we can publish it to WordPress. WordPress doesn't work with Markdown as well, so it's better to have it in HTML. Then we run the app to generate the image. The output of this is the actual image in the URL format. We are getting the image from the URL, and the output of this is the binary code that actually represents the image. Then we are creating a media item in WordPress for that image. We are calling it first time dog owner guide cover. So this is the slug plus the name cover. And finally, we are generating a post in WordPress. Now, if we go back to the WordPress admin dashboard and refresh, we should see the new post. There we go. We have from puppy love to possum partner, your ultimate guide to dog ownership. Let's open this up. And here's the article. As you can see, we have the title, we have the full content, including the key takeaways, all of the different headings, we have a table here, and we have the featured image, which the app generated with ideogram. Let's see how this looks like on the front end. So let's click on this little icon and preview in new tab. Everything looks great. We have the image with a golden retriever there, which is indeed a good breed for beginners. The title here, the paragraph, key takeaways, all of the different subtitles, the table is properly rendered, and we have a good detailed piece on the best dog breeds for first-time owners. If everything is okay, we can go back to the post, click on publish, and it will show up on this block. Not only this content is pretty good for being AI generated, but it also scores pretty well in the headline analyzer. The content score is 82, and we have all of the different things we can improve. A human reviewer can go through them, improve them, and then publish the article. This is just one example on how to use a content generator in MindStudio to interface with WordPress or other website builders. It will work the same way in something like Webflow, Duda, Framer, other platforms like that. But it can also be used to automatically generate blog content, starting from MindStudio with a scheduler, for example, with a cron job. It can be used to automatically start new blog post generation from a Google Sheet. Everything you want to automate is likely possible to automate thanks to AI, the MindStudio platform, and something like Make or your own coding platform if you are a developer. Hope this helps and happy building.